What's up everybody? Welcome to March and Chevy. Today we're looking at, that's right, the 2007 Chevy Trailblazer SS. This one is clean, I'm telling you. I'm liking the color white with the alloy wheels and the billet grill on the front. I'll do a uh, full walk around on this one today, let y'all see it, do a condition report. If I see any major dents, things, or scratches, I'll point them out to you. But most of all, let you know uh, some of the specs on it, mileage and price. So those are some of the important things. And again, it's an SS Trailblazer. You don't see a whole lot of these up for sale very often. And uh, this is actually might be one or one out of two that I have filmed on the channel. So uh, anyways, pretty cool. So the billet grill looks good. Front end's looking good. I like how the billet grill is in the front and on the bottom, which is nice. Headlights look good. No major fading going on or oxidation on the paint, which is nice. Um, also, uh, no dents, no dings, no major scratches. Lots of times when people buy a SS Trailblazer, it's almost like, you know, it's one of those cars where they're, they're keeping it garage kept and, uh, and they're maintaining it really nicely because they know they got something special here. Um, does have a set of 20 inch wheels. Take a look at those. Good looking wheel, got the six spoke going on, looking very nice, I like that. Um, Goodyear tires, plenty of tread on the tires. I believe the dealership put brand new tires on it. They're a 255 50 series tire. So wheels look good, no curb marks on them. Got the SS badge there. You also get a three month, 3,000 mile warranty by Marchant Chevrolet. Also has a sunroof. And uh, the top looks good. I'm liking the tinted windows in black with the, uh, with the rain visors on there. Very nice, or window visors, whatever y'all want to call those. Back tires look good. It is rear wheel drive. Plenty of tread on those. Again, brand new tires, beautiful wheels, no curb marks on the back wheels. Let's look at the back of the Trailblazer SS. Again, very sporty. Uh, your front and back bumpers kind of extend down a little bit lower than your traditional bumpers, give it a more aggressive look. Um, dual exhaust, it has Borla exhaust on the back. So uh, I don't know if it's the full Borla exhaust on the vehicle or did that come with Borla exhaust when you bought them new? I'm not really sure, but I definitely know it's Borla because you just can't miss the Borla logo right there, right on. Even has a uh, tow package on the back. Let's open up the trunk and see what we got going on. This has a Viper alarm system on it. Uh, a lot of y'all may remember the Viper alarm system from back in the day. So there you have that. Let's take a look in the back and see what's going on. So it's going to definitely have a lot of room in the back. Very spacious. No third row seat. You do not get a third row seat. You just get a lot of cargo room in the back of the SS Trailblazer. And I don't think the Trailblazer ever even had a third row seat. Probably not. What is under here? More storage. There you go. Very clean though. Has a good smell on the inside. You know, on a hot day like today when it's over 90 degrees out here, um, you can smell things and uh, everything's smelling pretty good. No backup camera, again, 2007. Backup cameras were just starting to be in the production line on vehicles and only certain types of vehicles were getting backup cameras back in 07. And uh, from what I remember, the Acura TL, because I worked for Acura back in 07, they had backup cameras, but a lot of the other brands did not have them. Um, I know it's a little tough to see the window sticker right here, but I will read off some information. Price is $16,941. Mileage is $62,219. So $62,219 on the mileage, $16,941 is the price. And of course, 6.0 liter V8 under the hood, which we'll look at here and crank it up in just a second. Do have power windows, power door locks, heated seats, how about that? Power mirrors, power seats, power lumbar. Got the Chevy logo down there. You got black leather with the suede inserts on your seats. And as you can see, these seats are in good shape for being as old as they are. They're not real torn up or anything like that. No rips, no tears. Just your basic leather wear going on right in there. Let's go ahead and uh, get inside. The SS is definitely going to have a little bit sportier gauge set up there for your speedometer. Maybe it's because the, uh, the letters and all are in italics, but um, that's looking good. Still has the uh, factory uh, stereo system, dual climate control. Let's go ahead and crank this car up. No push start in here. Just put the foot on the brake and crank her up. All right, exhaust is sounding good. I'll leave the door open for a minute so we can, uh, well, actually I'm gonna close it. Pretty quiet on the inside once you get that door closed. 
I have a feeling that has something to do with the alarm system. Maybe some kind of sensor. Who knows? We got OnStar still in here. AC already blowing nice and cold, which is nice. I like that. There's your shifter. No paddle shifters in here. Okay, again, I don't think they had paddle shifters going on in 2007. We do have a sunroof right there. Let's see if it still works. Of course it does. How about that? And it slides all the way back. So that's good. Good stuff there. Lights. No LED lights, folks, okay? But those do, do light up pretty bright. And vanity mirrors has light right there. On driver's side and passenger side. Very clean, you got oh shit or oh crap handles right here. Not one on the driver's side, but do have it on the passenger and in the back. Center console, nice and clean. Plenty of room in there. Cup holders here, 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 here. No auxiliary ports, no USBs. Again, they didn't have that stuff in 2007. I like the SS badge right here on the steering wheel. Got some buttons and audio and cruise control and all of that. All right, let's, uh, oh, here's the exact mileage if y'all want to see that. No check engine lights or anything like that are on, so good stuff. Let's rev it up a little bit so we can hear what's going on. Go ahead and pop the hood. And let's go ahead and cut our lights on so we can see what that looks like. I know a lot of y'all want to see this stuff. Again, this is kind of a specialty vehicle. Well, there's your headlights. You can see you got fog lights down here behind the billet grill. Looking kind of sporty like that. Headlights light up nicely. Got your yellow amber par uh, park lights underneath. Let's see how easy this is to open with one hand. Not bad, okay. Still got your traditional thing there, no shocks. But again, that is a massive size engine under the hood here. I mean, again, 6.0 liter. Wow, wait. That's a lot of power out of a uh, SUV, or a smaller SUV like this. This thing will haul tail down the road, okay? So there's your engine. I can't really do too much right now. My hand's kind of stuck up here holding it up, but um, you did get to hear the exhaust. Runs good, nice and quiet. Solid, that hood's got some weight to it. So that's pretty solid there, folks. So again, there is your 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. Up for sale here at Marchant Chevy in June 2017. It's towards the end of June today. So it will probably still be here in July. But I don't imagine it being here too much more for the next couple weeks. I mean, this is going to sell quick. So if you're interested and you live somewhere in the United States of America, send me a comment and let me know that you're interested and we'll make something happen. Have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe.